So yes, this is it. This is the first and only 2023 Maserati Ghibli Trofeo that we are gonna see at this dealership here in Orlando. This is still the king of the ring when it comes to engines, and this is still the king of the ring when it comes to top speed. Let's hear what the king has to say. <laughs> What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where I have some sad news to bring to you guys. This twin turbo V8, 203 mile per hour top speed Maserati Ghibli Trofeo behind me here today is the last one you're gonna see new here at Maserati Central Florida as, yes, only one is coming here to the dealership and it's the one right here behind me. This is the first 2023 Ghibli Trofeo and they only got one allocation for the Ghibli for this model year before it's discontinued next year. This is it, this is the last Ghibli Trofeo we're gonna see here today from Maserati Central Florida. I can't believe it, it's, it's the end of an era. Now I can't stress to you how important it is to contact Yaniel, AKA Johnny here at Maserati Central Florida because this is the, it, this is the only Ghibli Trofeo you're gonna get here at Central Florida in Orlando. So if you guys wanna get it, contact my boy, check the description below for his contact information, call him, do whatever you need to do to get into their last Tofeo model. So here it is, guys. I am not kidding you. This is it for 2023 and Tofeos in the Ghibli model here at Central Florida. This is not a drill. This is it. We know all about this car. We're going to see that engine bay and here it makes some noise in a moment here, but we have to take a look at this and just gawk in it. Now, you're probably wondering what's different for 2023 when it comes to the Trofeo because we know the different trims of the Ghibli. Well, they have a couple of things that are optional. Um, they have a couple of things that are standard. They have a couple of things that have been taken away for the 2023 model year. Well, when it comes to the Trofeo, all they did for 2023 was remove the optional 20 inch wheels and tires. That's it, everything else is the same. So you cannot get the optional 20 inch wheels on the 2023 Ghibli Trofeo. Now the Ghibli lineup overall as far as like color schemes and stuff like that. Well, they took away some colors where you have five core colors like Bianco, like Grigio Martia, like Nero Rebelle, like the uh, Blue Nobili, and you have Blue Emissione, which you see here today. These are the five core colors for Maseratis in 2023 when it comes to the Ghibli. And then you have the Fierce Siri colors, which, you know, cost a little bit more, but obviously they make a bigger impression. So this is one of those five, four colors, sorry, five core colors for 2023. And other than that, you've seen a lot of this stuff on the Maserati before, especially we've done a Ghibli Trofeo, I believe, in a similar spec to this one, if not the exact same spec. What I want to do here is just take a second to relish this because again, you will not see a new one here at Central Florida. I can't stress that enough. This is what they told me, this is it. Their only allocation for a 2023 Ghibli Trofeo is sitting right here in front of us today. So, blue emissione, all right? We know that that is a blue emotion metallic paint as it translates. Beautiful, beautiful color, especially here in the Florida sun. Now, you see your full LED matrix LED lights. You see your Trofeo style slack grills up front as you guys can see the center feed through which other Maserati models don't have. That's for extra cooling. See the level two ADAS Trident up front, and you see the carbon fiber lip up front and the carbon fiber side slats to go around the honeycomb grill. Beautiful take up front in the Trofeo. We'll look at it from another angle. That's just a killer spec. Now, coming to the side, You've seen these wheels before, 21 inch Titano gloss black wheels, Pirelli tires, red calipers, white script, and drilled Brembo rotors. We know all about this, we know all about it. Now, that is a SF90 Stradale alarm going off. That's the third time it's going off. Must be a very sensitive alarm. So we'll, we'll pick back up after that's done. All right, now that that alarm is done, on the front fender, you will see the Trofeo badge done in chrome with the red and black portholes. Looks really good. And you know, for the Quattro Porte Trofeo, it's a little bit more 3D. This is keeping the same Ghibli energy as far as how the portholes look and the styling. 
Now you will see that we have gloss black window moldings, body color door handles, not in chrome, and then we have the Italian flag on the B pillar, specific to the Trofeo models. Also specific to the Trofeo models is the red strike through on the C pillar trident. So you will see that, and that's another way you'll know that this is not like the others. Now, as far as the rear, well, there's a couple of ways you'll know that this is a Trofeo and that this has some power behind it. First thing, well, you'll see that V8 badge, which lets you know that Maserati, no, they're not playing around with this one. We'll talk more about that in a minute. The boomerang tails, done in a smoke. The Maserati insignia here, done in a smoke. And the Ghibli badge, also smoked out. Now, the other way you can tell this is a Trofeo, the carbon fiber rear diffuser. So the aggressive rear diffuser done in a carbon finish. Normally it's in black or body color. Now you can also see honeycomb grill over the black exhaust tips. And these are quad exhaust tips as you guys know. So there we are. We'll take a step back, look at it all together. And it looks pretty tame from the back besides, you know, the more aggressive rear diffuser. But other than that, this is what you get out of the Ghibli Trofeo. Now I can't stress to you guys enough how important this Trofeo engine has been over the past few years for Maserati. This Ferrari derived rear wheel drive eight speed ZF transmission paired 3.8 liter twin turbo V8 pumps out 580 horsepower, all right, with a four second flat zero to 60, but a top speed of 203 miles per hour. First off, power aside, it's a beautiful looking block here. Look at this thing. Red manifolds on the side, the center, done in carbon V8 badge and the Maserati badge in chrome. We don't see things like this anymore in the industry when it comes to these kind of cars. So when you talk about what we've seen in the Gran Turismo Trofeo or the Gricale Trofeo, under the hood of those, looks a lot different than this. Now again, remember this is Ferrari derived, so this is Maserati's partnership with Ferrari and they came together to make this beautiful piece of work in front of us today. And there's not too many more times, if ever, we're gonna see this on the channel. So I had to just talk about it, gawk about it, give it its compliments, give it its flowers, and show you guys up close what this Trofeo engine looks like. We're gonna hear what it sounds like and just let you know what it means to have the fastest Maserati currently in the market and may ever be the fastest Maserati at a top speed of 203 miles per hour out of this Ghibli Trofeo where the MC20, as you would think with 630 horsepower out of a twin turbo V6 is 202 for the top speed. This is still the king of the ring when it comes to engines, and this is still the king of the ring when it comes to top speed. Let's hear what the king has to say. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel because when you subscribe, it helps grow the channel and I get more opportunities to get more beautiful cars like this final Ghibli Trofeo here at Maserati Central Florida on the channel. So obviously inside is gonna to be top materials from Maserati. Piano Fluidi natural drill leather seats done in Rosso here with the Trofeo badge to show off there as well. You also have Nero leather all throughout carbon fiber all throughout. You have Alcantara on the post and on the headrest, aluminum trim everywhere as far as the pedals, the side sills, the button adjusters for the seat. I mean, this thing is loaded up. Now, let that said, let's uh, take a step into what will be the final new Trofeo here at Central Florida. I can't stress that enough. This is it, guys. This is it. I mean, it looks phenomenal per usual with all of these special goodies inside. I love it. It's just a perfect spec when it comes to just being out there, being very Maserati-esque, you know, giving you some of the best materials and paints that Maserati has to offer when it comes to their spec sheet. So again, Nero leather, Nero stitching, Rosso leather, Rosso stitching, aluminum trim, carbon fiber, all right, big aluminum pedals, perforated leather on the steering wheel. I mean, 
all the stuff you guys are used to. Big things you need to know about the Trofeo is that it does have a Sport Corsa mode, which we're in right now. Sport mode, well, it's normal, open up your valves, you know, gives you more throttle response. But Corsa, when you hold that down for three seconds and it changes, well, it turns off your driver assistance and traction control for some real tire spinach out of this V8. Now, you do see the V8 badge also in the Speedo here, and the revs are at 7,000 RPM. And then on this side, you will see 230 on the top speed for the Speedo, but we know that it is not 230. Ferrari pulling up there, 458. <laughs> I had to, had to take a break for that, but we know it is 203 miles per hour, but still cool to see 230 on the dashboard of a Maserati, which is just insane to even say. So with that said, this is what you guys are used to as far as everything you've seen on Maseratis before. Um, you know, the 2023 model for the Trofeo is not gonna change much um, as it does with some of the other trim levels for 2023, where they have a couple of extra options that are taken away or put on standard for the Trofeo. You're looking at a lot of things that you've already seen on Maserati. Um, it's still there, you know, for the Trofeo because this is the maxed out version, basically. This is the top trim. This is what you're gonna get when it comes to these vehicles. So, you know, like your wireless charger, USB-C, USB 2.0, USB um, all that stuff there. Your cup holders, um, your traction off, your ice, Sport Corsa, your um, um, active suspension there. I mean, all your radio controls for the MIA system, 10.1 inch touchscreen, you connect five. Uh, Mia is just an awesome system here. I mean, where you can really get the most out of the Maserati infotainment and experience inside of the cabin. But again, I don't want to rush the inside look of this car, but I mean, we've seen it all before. Really, it's just this might be one of the last times we really get to experience a new Trofeo because with them not being too many as far as the allocations go, I probably won't be able to see many. I mean, Daytona probably will have one possibly for 2023. Other dealerships might get one or two to, um, allocations and who knows if I'll be able to film this. So yes, this this is the one where it might be the first, it might be for the, the last for me. And I'm just, it's, a, it's a sad but bittersweet moment to see the Ghibli going away and to see the V8 Trofeo going away in the Ghibli. Now, I know you guys aren't looking at V8 model cars and caring much about the fuel economy, but <laughs> here we are, premium fuel only, 16, 13, 20, 16 city and highway, uh, 13 city and 20 highway when it comes to your fuel economy. So keep that in mind when you're shopping a V8 Maserati. Inside is the same that you guys are used to. All right, so 60, 40 rear folding split. About 13 cubic feet of space inside. All right, and then underneath, spare tire, jack, tire inflate kit, battery tucked underneath there. So just to show it off for anybody who wants to know, but you guys know all about the trunk space and inside of what we have in the boot of the 2023 Ghibli Trofeo. All right, so we have to see her all illuminated, right? Check it out. Full LED by Xenon headlamps, amber turn signals, switchbacks. And you see those LED lighting poking through with the amber turn signal here in the mirror cap and then the boomerang tail all illuminated with the fog lamp illuminated with it. What do you guys think? Let's talk about the sticker of this 2023 Maserati Ghibli Trofeo. All right, Blue Mizione with red and black interior. The MSRP starts at $122,000. Keep in mind, this actually doesn't have too many options on it, only three. Those are the three, and then once you add the destination and gas guzzler tax, you're looking at $127,795. So the three options, you're wondering, well, the Alcantara headliner and pillars is $1,000, the Mika paint, $1,200, and the 21-inch titanium gloss black wheels, $400 on this trim level. Then the destination is $1,195, preparation and delivery, $300, but the gas guzzler tax is $1,700, which is more expensive than any single option on the options list, which is kind of hilarious to think about. So that's it. That's it. I mean, honestly, the Trofeo comes pretty stacked when it comes to options. There's like maybe three or four more things you can add to this, like the full carbon fiber package that will give you carbon fiber pillars, door handles, and a spoiler, stuff like that. But other than that, guys, I mean, there's not much to add. It comes 
with everything as you guys can see here standard so i will go slowly over this to see if this is your future trofeo what you get standard with it again a lot of things that you're not normally getting on a lot of the other maseratis well you're going to get it here for sure on a trofeo because this is this is the end all be all you can no longer go any higher when it comes to Maserati Ghibli trims. And there's a reason for it. This is the bad boy. And man, again, I am sad to see it go. All right, guys. So at $127,000 for what is Maserati's last Ferrari Divide V8 that's going to be going into the Ghibli, this is it. We know the V8s are gone. Moving on, moving forward, the Trofeo models are now V6s from the Natuno engine. This is going to be something that's going to be sought after when Maserati is done with them in the next year. So, what do you guys think? The last, the final 2023 Maserati Ghibli Trofeo here at Central Florida, is it worth that $127,000 price tag? I'm gonna say so to have something as mean and fast as this. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. When you give the video a like, it helps get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we can have a bigger discussion on the final Maserati Ghibli Trofeo that's gonna be here at Central Florida. Now, with that said, if you guys wanna help further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below where I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, my Venmo, and my Patreon just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate that extra love and support, guys. Thank you so much. And you guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch in case you guys want hoodies, coffee mugs, Kango hats, backpacks, everything Ron's Rise is there. And I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, see everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, Alfa Romeo, and Fiat that doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.